What's up? My name is Jacob, and lately I've been very depressed. So I missed a bunch of uploads and I'm really sorry, but I'm not gonna miss an upload for at least three weeks. That's what I'm challenging myself to do and I'm going to do it. So without further ado, today I got a video of George Carlin and he's at the Hollywood Palace with Jimmy Durante in 1966. He's doing a stand-up bit called The Wonderful Wino, which was like his most popular routine up until this point in life. I think it's like a different version of Carlin that we've yet to see, and I'm really interested in how he's doing his thing. So I'm hopping to it, and I really hope that you right there are having a bussing day. I think I should paint the scene real quick. It's 1966. The Beatles are the hottest thing in the world. It's essentially like Lil Baby. The Beatles are Lil Baby. And John Lennon's coming out talking about how uh, the Beatles are bigger than Jesus. Um, Jimi Hendrix is on his very first tour, right? In France, right? We don't even know about it over here in the United States. We don't know who Jimi Hendrix is yet. And Andy Warhol's painting his face a bunch of time in different colors and everybody's saying it's the greatest thing ever. Now, since you know that, you could probably appreciate Mr. Carlin a little bit more. Folks, it's great to see new comedians come along because if there's one thing the world can always use, you know it's a smile. And this young fellow is one of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, George Carlin. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sure that you're aware of the fact that teenagers today are the most powerful group in the country. First of all, there are more of them than ever before, and teenagers are so much better organized today than they ever have been before. Many of them are armed. <laughs> <laughs> they even have their own radio stations, a coast-to-coast -coast network of top 40 teenage good guys swinging rub and stuff and echo chamber stations, the ones where all the disc jockeys sound alike. I mean, this is kind of how the world works still to this day, right? Except like instead of DJs with radio stations, it's uh, social media influencers, but they're still teenagers and it's literally the, still the same thing. And these motherfuckers got guns. Hi there, it's me from 6 to 9. Hi there, it's me from 9 to 12. Hi there, it's me from 12 to 3. Hi there, it's me from 3 to 6. It's all the same guy. He's in a jar, right? <laughs> so it seems like in 1966, he's still this like energetic dude that Carlin is, right? He, he's like that when he's 60. He's like that when he's 90. He's like that like... Throughout his whole career, we know George Carlin on stage to be this like extra animated, kind of crazy, wacky dude. And it's interesting to see him in 1966 at whatever age he was when he really first started getting noticed, um, being the same person on stage. It's interesting. Anytime you turn on your transistor, you just might hear something like the following. Hi there, kids. Welcome to the Willie West Show here on Wonderful Wino Radio. Wonderful Wino. Yeah, welcome to the Willie West Show here on a wonderful Wednesday with your winner spinner, Weird Willie West. Winging your way with 101 wild and woolly wedges of wax and quazy wackets to play on the radio. That was definitely a Looney Tunes reference. The crazy wabbits to play on the radio, you know, like he's Bugs Bunny. Right here on Wonderful Wino. Seventeen fifty on your dial, just above the police calls, kid. We got stacks and stacks of wax and wax. We got the pick to click, the ones to watch, the oldies but goodies and newies but gooies. We got the top seven hundred records here in the land of Wonderful Wino. Wonderful. Top seven hundred. Let's get started with a big rockin' sound. A great new group from England, the Kansas City Boys. Let's the hear them. The Kansas City My Boys are the Beatles. Ding, 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 ding. My baby's dead. <laughs> she got hit by a train. <laughs> Doom. Big old train. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get that train. There it is, kids. Another big romantic ballad for you. So I guess he's like, this is his take on 
pop culture 1966. George Carlin is really good at using things that are very referenceable and very relatable by his audience. You have a crowd full of grown adults. It's 1966. The life's a little different, right? There's definitively a difference in the place of a child and an adult in 1966, right? So he's talking to a bunch of adults about teenagers and their newfangled music and their newfangled ideas and, and how radical and outrageous they are, you know? And it's something that the crowd absolutely is going crazy for. Him. And then he's putting on this act and doing this skit where he's replicating the thing that all these kids do, but he's putting like a little comedy curveball on it. And that's really, really fire. But I think it's even more fire that he's still George Carlin. He's the George Carlin that we know that's talking about AIDS on stage in 1990. And in 1966, he's doing the same thing, just with a different comedic like point of view, you know? It's not the same radical George Carlin that talks about the big issues. It's, it's him finding something also relatable, but maybe a little bit more PG. <laughs> this one by the Armadillos. Okay, moving along, kids. Here's another big tune, two in a row. A double play, a big double header here on the Willie West Show. This one hasn't even been released yet, and it's number one on the charts this week. <laughs> Next week, it'll be a golden oldie. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his script on the desk in front of him. You see this right here? You see that? That's his script. I send my lungs and my kidney for the summer to Sydney. But I'm sending my heart to you. <laughs> Another big romantic ballad for you, kids. And bulletin, 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 bulletin. Here is a bulletin, bulletin, bulletin. <laughs> Russia and the United States are at war. Missiles have been fired by both sides. Washington and Moscow are in flames. Details in 25 minutes, kids, on Action Central News. <laughs> Action Central News. It's like the Beastie Boys. Here's another big one, kids, in the wonderful world of wine. This one's number one and moving higher every week. Let's give a listen. Let's make some dedications first. We'll send it out for Big Al, Red, Louis, Spike, Choo Choo. These are like people at the radio station, like they're like giving shout outs. You listen to the radio, they still do that to this day. Ralph and Brucey, Ralph and Brucey. Fire. It's our pick to make you sick, Jenny. We. Jenny. <laughs> I mean, this is very much 1960s music that he's like creating. I don't know if he's on the spot of his rehearsed. Knowing George Carlin, it's probably written down and rehearsed, but it's like very much the music of the time. But like his faces that he makes, right? Um, and how he like poses his body and like the, the dramaticism that he's, he's delivering it with makes it so funny. And no, this homie is super spit cool facts. because what he's actually doing is performing like a straight up reenactment of something that is very popular on the radio in 1960. Like it's just, it's exactly verbatim what, what you would hear when you turn on the radio. He's not doing anything embellishing. It's just like, he is so animated and lively and goofy that you can't help but laugh. It's super cool. Cause that's like who he is at the core of his being. Big one for you kids, and we'll move right along. You're digging that big wino sound. Wonderful wino in Death Valley. It's the Willie West Show. Who cares? Another big tune for you. Moving along, kids. This one's been on the charts for two and a half years. Kind of a slow mover. Last week, number 216. This week, zooming up to the big number 212 spot. It's a folk protest song. It's Sweeping the Nation by Patty and the Pickets. Let's Patty hear it. Patty and the Pickets. Don't want no war. 
I wonder where you'll be going this weekend with that date of yours. Well, why not go on out to the make-out drive-in theater, kid? <laughs> Great little place. There's no lines. There's no waiting. There's no movie either, kid. <laughs> no, of course, they've got a big flick to click for you this weekend, a Technicolor Tune Fest you're really going to dig. Six of your favorite stars, Sandra D., Peggy Lee, Brenda Lee, Bobby V., Molly V., and Oscar Homolka. <laughs> In sex bed, teen bikini virgin surf beach ball bash. Don't miss it. <laughs> that about wraps it up for a weird Wednesday here on your uh, Willie West show. Catch you again tomorrow if someone doesn't bomb the station. In the meantime, we got the old tunes, the new tunes, the show tunes, the blue tunes, the greatest music in town. That sounds exactly like Tim Minchin Inflatable You. Exactly like. Here's a clip from our video of on Tim Minchin Inflatable You. Your love for me is not debatable. Oh, with the vocals. Your sexual appetite's insatiable. You never ever make me waitable. Delectable, inflatable you. Fire. That shit is exactly the same. That's fire. We got the old tunes, the new tunes, the show tunes, the blue tunes, the greatest music in town. But we never play it! Jimmy Durante was feeling that. You see how he dabbed him up at the end of the show? He was digging it. I think that's crazy. I really think that's crazy. I really think it's interesting seeing George Carlin at that age in that period of time because he's exactly the same. Like his presence on stage is no different than it is when he's at his last stand-up, you know? And I think that's crazy. The only thing that changes over the history of George Carlin is the content, like the actual thing that he's speaking about. Um, so I wonder if he's the GOAT or if Richard Pryor's the GOAT. So tomorrow I'm gonna do Richard Pryor at pretty much the same time, and we'll take a journey through the time. I hope you're having a good day though, and I'm gonna catch you tomorrow, promise. Hey homeboy, you, right there. If you don't like the video right now,